Hey guys, welcome back to AX3 Gaming. My name is Alec and welcome back to another episode of Journey of Wrestling. If you guys didn't catch that last episode, we actually did a live stream. So if you missed that, make sure to go back and watch it. It was really cool to be able to interact with you guys. I answered some of your questions. We talked a little bit about games you guys want to see in the future. So that was really cool. I'll probably do one in the future because that went really well. And like I said, I really had a good time interacting with you guys. As always, the entire playlist of Journey of Wrestling is in the description. So make sure to go back and watch those other episodes in case you missed them. And before we get started, here guys can you do two things for me first hit that like button if you're enjoying my content it does help me out a lot also make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well so you do not miss an episode whenever i upload you will be notified and without further ado let's get right back into booking nxt takeover rival so like i mentioned we did that live stream which i honestly had a lot of fun with it it was a little bit nerve-wracking getting into it and and trying to make sure everything worked properly for you guys but it seemed to go off without a hitch uh knock on wood uh make sure to st stay tuned to the channel for those for those other live streams coming up and make sure to turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever i go live and you do not miss it but during that uh during that live stream we ended up booking um nxt takeover no sorry nxt new year's evil and two weeks of NXT as well, uh, leading up to NXT TakeOver Rival, which we are doing here today. Uh, some other things we want to get into before we get started here is uh, another thing during that live stream is that we talked a little bit about some videos you guys want to see in the future. One of the more prevalent ones was WWE 2K20 Universe Mode, so it seems like you guys want to see some of that, so I might be bringing that to you soon. Um, what I do want to know is what kind of universe you guys want. I... I'm going to set up a poll on my Twitter page. So if you are not following me on Twitter, make sure to go do that. It's at the AX3 Gaming. It's right on the screen above me here. So make sure to go and follow me there, answer the poll. And uh, so we can get a good uh, series going on that you guys want to see. Okay, and enough of that. Let's get into actual journey of wrestling today. So as you can see, another thing I did on the live stream was uh, finally I tried to poach Becky Lynch from Monday Night raw maybe i think she's on monday i don't forget what show i offered her money from but uh that is being finalized right now we unfortunately did not get sasha banks i thought it was locked in but apparently it wasn't so she ended up staying with aew they declined my offer i didn't realize they could do it at that point i thought they already accepted but we're hopefully get becky lynch here and while we're here let's um let's go look at the indies and see who's available there right now oh is that the rock and roll guy <laughs> that's the rock and roll uh, uh, like from 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 nxt he used to scream all the time and now he's in the he's in the um old spice ads and he was on smackdown recently uh playing shinsuke nakamura that's random i'm not gonna sign him though unfortunately sorry buddy billy k i was talking about signing her so i think i will let's recruit her because that's gonna take a month anyway so let's see what she wants there uh and then we can uh, reunite the Iconics potentially under Kurt Angle's management. That would be pretty cool. But anyway, for tonight, we got a couple matches ready and good to GO. Uh, Biggie versus Braun Strowman continuing on their feud. Tony Storm versus Rhea Ripley doing the same with uh, the NXT Women's Championship on the line. And then we got a couple lower feuds here that uh, I'm hoping to build up a little bit. Uh, and then other than that, we got our tag team feud as well, which, which is doing pretty well now it was not at the beginning but i'm liking the way it's going now yeah i still need to push elias so i need to get that started soon i feel like after this cruiserweight championship feud i could probably put him in there because i have a plan for the north american championship that i, I don't want to ruin and um he's not just going to go straight up for the world championship i don't want to pull down that um that championship too much but let's uh oh yeah here's the other thing i wanted to show you guys is all my injuries are coming back pretty soon one to two months for the top three alexa bliss roger strong and Shayna baszler and start like kids a bit longer which is not a huge deal but we are going to see a lot of main eventers return so that's going to be good to help out our roster but anyway let's look at the event facts all positive street fight i quit and ladder and submission okay so that's all that that's what i have available for tonight that is great uh, not available, but that's what I most likely want to do just to push them along a little. Okay, let's start booking this card. Biggie versus Braun Strowman main eventing, of course. This is actually going to be the last match in their feud. We're blowing that off, uh, finishing off their uh, tag team. We are going to add a gimmick. Yes, we unlocked a bunch of gimmicks as well, which is tray awesome. Okay, we unlocked Brawl, TLC tables, and casket. So let's do a TLC match for them. 
uh, doesn't have much hype at this event. Let's just do, because I think what these do, the, the gimmick match effects is just like it comes synonymous with the show. So they ended up doing, they end up doing really well. I don't think it makes sense for four different match types to be the synonymous. So let's just make it, let's just leave it at one for now and we'll redo that one. Maybe the I quit makes sense for this one because it, it's rival, I guess. I don't know, rivals want to make each other quit. I don't know. But anyway, uh, Tony Storm and Rhea Ripley are going to grab that I quit match. And they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna have to blow off tonight, unfortunately. But uh, what else are you gonna do? Beautiful. Okay, so that's ready to go. Let me just make sure they haven't done that already. Yeah, we are good with the I quit step. I quit step, and we're back to over a million fans here. We we uh, lost that briefly last uh, live stream, but we're we're back. We're good. Uh, next up will be the tag team championships. Uh, I think they'll get a. I think they'll get a um, gimmick here as well, which uh, would be quite awesome. Opsum. <laughs> no, not a casket. Not a. They'll give him a tables match. I want to get some of these new gimmicks in here, and it's not that expensive either. So beautiful. That's gonna continue. Um, did I add a blow off to Tony? No. Yeah, I did. Okay. So both my world championships are blowing off this pay per view, which is a little bit worrisome because I don't have something main eventing the next show. Can I stretch something out for one more show? I. You know what? I can probably stretch out. Braun versus Big E. For one more pay-per-view, what are they at? 5.5 out of 8. So they're going to be at 6.5 after tonight. Um, if I just do segments, that'll put me at like 7, and then they'll have one more match. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't blow that off just so I have a big feud to main event next show, and that'll give some time for the new women's feud to... to build up a little bit and hopefully i really really hope that either Shayna baszler or alexa bliss return to the next show <laughs> like i kind of need it because who else am i gonna who else am i gonna put in that in that um in that area tony storm rhea ripley okay b Priestley. but then i'd have to then i'd have to blow off the tag team feud tonight if i want to do that and then we got Rio and Ember. I could put Rio. Uh, she's an upper mid Carter, right? What's the what's the tag team feud at? Tag team feud is only at two out of eight. And then what am I gonna do with the tag team championships after that, right? We got Irish Storm, but no, they're they're taken for now. B Priest, B Days in this match, cruising like a phoenix. They're very lackluster though. And then so are the other two tag teams. I need more tag teams as usual. I really need more main eventers. I need to start building people up to the main event, I believe. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do, I think. So I think I'm going to push off the Braun Strowman Biggie blow off. I'm going to try to stretch it for one more pay-per-view, even though they've already had a four-month rivalry. I'm going to try to push it one more month. Keep Rhea Ripley versus, or sorry, blow off Rhea Ripley versus Tony Storm. Use that time between now and next month to build up a new women's championship feud. And then by next month, I can, I can drop Big E versus Braun Strowman, build up a new men's, and then put women, the women in the main event for the next pay-per-view, build up the world championship feud in the meantime, and then I can stagger them back and forth, right? So we always have like a world championship in the main event with a hot feud. That's hoping that we don't get any injuries as well. So maybe, so worst case scenario, I'm going to put Tony Storm in a rivalry with Riho. Best case scenario, either Alexa Bliss, sorry, best case scenario, Alexa Bliss and Shayna Baszler come back and we have a crazy triple threat action going on. But uh, middle, mid scenario is either Alexa Bliss or Shayna Baszler returns and then I can do Tony Storm versus one of them and then still try to build up my women in the meantime. Then this is hard. Being a booker is hard, man. I've only booked three freaking matches. God. Okay. Uh, what else do we have to do? Singles. Killian Dane versus Aleister Black. That's just going to be a normal match. Peyton Royce versus Rio is going to be a normal match. And Jeff Hardy versus Johnny Gargano for the Cruiserweight Championship. So this is going to be our main card for tonight. Do I want to do anything else? Uh, probably not. Elias is still on the back burner for now. Um, I really need to figure out more tag teams. Like I always say this, I always say this, and then I make like a couple more tag teams and then for whatever reason they go and do other things and they don't end up being great. So I think, I, I think I'm going to pull Elias from the tag division because he's in a tag team with Sammy Guevara right now. I think I'm going to pull Elias from that so we can do some single stuff. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Let's just do this for now. Let me write some stuff down. I wrote more tag teams in giant letters that I do not, not forget, but I might. Bah, I need to, maybe I should just. Okay. 
<laughs> Maybe I should just start using some upper mid carters. Who knows? Um, or some more of my upper mid carters. Or should I start trading people? Like, yeah, like I've said before, I have some people on my roster that I've never heard of before. Not that I've, ne sorry, not that I never heard of them before. I know most of them, but I've, I'm not familiar with their work or or what kind of wrestler they are. I don't feel like booking people that I don't know, so I'm. <laughs> going to just leave it like that and maybe trade some people and get a stronger lower mid card of people that i want to push or upper mid card sorry okay this is good for the show tonight so let's go through the card uh i feel like this episode's going on forever because i keep talking about other things and getting distracted but anyway here we go in the first match of the night for the cruiserweight championship johnny gargano will take on jeff re hardy um, and then after that, Riho is going to go one-on-one -on -one with Peyton Royce, accompanied by Kurt Angle. After that, for the NXT North American Championship, Alistair Black is going to go one-on-one -on -one with Killian Dane. After that, B-Day, uh, will take on Men of Honor in a tables match. And then, uh... In the semi-main, Rhea Ripley is going to go one-on-one -on -one with Tony Storm in an I Quit match. And then in the main event, Braun Strowman and Big E are going to continue their rivalry in a TLC match for the NXT World Championship. And that is our card for tonight, guys. We are good to G.O. NXT presents NXT TakeOver Rival live tonight in front of a fully packed audience. Fan interest is high for the event, which is headlined by Big E versus Braun Strowman for the NXT World Championship in a TLC match. One of the most anticipated matches of the night is Tony Storm versus Rhea Ripley for the NXT Women's Championship in an I Quit match. Other matches that have fans buzzing include Men of Honor versus Speed Day for the NXT Tag Team Championships in a tables match, and Aleister Black versus Killian Dane for the NXT North American Championship. Continue to see our predictions, and here is the poster almost all champions here except for brawny braun Strowman. who are we missing johnny gargano uh the only champion that's missing on this poster that's sad <laughs> they just left him out okay so the predictions for the evening biggie will retain and rhea ripley will win the title uh 80 chance of men of honor winning 20 percent chance of b-day winning and killing dane will win the title and peyton royce wins and sorry jo uh, johnny gargano will retain the title via cheating I didn't look at finishes, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure I have a good idea of what finishes I want to do. I don't think I can go now, can I? No. Anyway, I think the only one that's going to get a finish is Johnny Gargano versus Jeff Hardy. And um, I believe they just started, so they don't have anything, I don't think. So I don't understand. It says participants wrestle till the time limit, leading to a draw. But I still have to choose a winner. I guess who comes out on top, like looks better i guess i don't know let's do a time limit draw would be cool i haven't done that in a while johnny gargano will pick up the victory okay quarter star that's okay but uh four and a half stars for this match that is more than i can ask for especially the way these two have been performing on regular tv so good for them continuing on here peyton royce versus riho once again peyton royce will pick up the victory uh boosting her status four stars three points to their feuds peyton royce iconic gimmick uh progress from good to mark out that is beautiful uh that's exactly what i want for peyton peyton bo Baton. uh she's way over her morality is high she's undefeated face uh good pop on her awesome okay this is great this is great uh, continuing on, Alistair Black versus Killing Dane. Actually, this one might add a finish as well. Let's just do this normal. Who cares? Alistair Black picks up the victory in a four and a quarter star. So good thing I didn't do anything. Otherwise, I would have been lower. I don't want anything below like four stars. Perfect. So that's good. Uh, continuing on here, Tag Team Championships, Men of Honor versus B Day. And the Men of Honor will retain their championships in a five star match awesome awesome tables match positive for this event okay so not much news usually there's a lot more news coming out of these pay-per-views but anyway and an i quit match tony storm going one-on-one -on -one with rhea ripley and to end off their feud tony storm will once again retain the women's championship wow and a five and a half star match good job everybody good work rhea ripley and tony storm put on a hot match boosting their overness by five percent uh, greatest wrestling feud between Tony Storm and Rhea Ripley ended with a four and three quarter rating. Rhea Ripley is on the way to becoming the face of the company. Great. Even though she lost the match, an I quit match effect is positive for this event. Good, good work, everybody. Continuing on. And in the main event for the World NXT World Championship, Big E going 
uh, sorry, defending his newly won championship against Braun Strowman in a TLC match, and Big E will retain his title in a great match. It looks like, yeah, almost five, or almost six stars, sorry, with eight points of their feud. That's good. So I need to remember, sorry, I really need to remember this. I meant to write it down and I didn't. So I'm just writing to make sure I only do segments, no matches for Big E versus Braun Strowman so they don't go over their staleness before the next pay-per-view. Uh, and then, yeah, they almost had a six-star match here. So here we go. Braun Strowman and Big E put on a hot match, boosting their over by five percent each awesome and tlc match effect positive for this for this pay-per-view so i think i figured out the stipulations like or i feel like i figured it out for a while now but i just want to officially say that i've officially figured it out officially <laughs> that uh, i should only be putting the gimmick matches on my top feuds that are guaranteed to have a good match because if i don't the status is gonna start going down and um so this pot came out positively this time awesome so this is a good pay-per-view um maybe four and three quarters i believe four and three quarters to five but either way we hit one of those uh i think we're gonna hit one of those goals we need three of them at least but one one out of three will be done there five stars perfect you know what i'm talking about right <laughs> how do we do top bot show five stars fourteen thousand fans all I can ask for. Revolution gained more fans than us because they had a better show with a five and a quarter star show of 16,000 fans gained. New Japan lost 9,000 fans with a four and a quarter star show. SmackDown lost 8.8 thousand fans with a four and a quarter star show. Uh, New Year's, uh, sorry, uh, Stardom lost 5,000 fans with a four and a half star show. Yeah, okay, that makes sense, sorry. And then Raw, once again, lost fans. Three and three quarters star show. Five point, or 7.5 thousand fans. I think at this rate, Raw is gonna be back up on the market again. Let's not forget to read some news here. Maybe something will pertain to us. It usually doesn't. New Japan Pro Wrestling, uh, Sami Zayn got over with the fans. New Beginning, the New Beginning delivers. Oh, it's a, it's a show name. Okay. R Rina off to New Japan Pro Wrestling. I don't know who that is. I don't want them to be associated with me because I don't want to lose any more people. Um, Xavier Woods finishes in injury, whoa, injury rehab. Bobby Lashley recovers. Match of the Year contender. The New Beginning delivers classic match. Match of the Year contender. Oh, here we go. We finally have some freaking news. It's always New Japan. I don't understand. Is it because they're the top show or is it just because... The game's broken? I don't know. Match of the year, contender, and new beginning. Fantastic match at NXT TakeOver Rival. An amazing match between Rhea Ripley and Tony Storm. NXT Ray TakeOver Rival has a great match. Uh, an amazing match. Johnny Gargano put on a and uh, Jeff already put on an amazing match. Okay, good work, everybody. Let's continue on here. We got six. E oh, yes. Oh, no. Okay, <laughs> a bunch of things just happened here. <laughs> so offer for Becky Lynch was rejected. Annoying, but what are you going to do about it? Okay, but Alexa Bliss is ready to return. That is perfect. So now we can start that new feud between Tony Storm and Alexa Bliss instead of Riho. Um, and then uh, we can have Braun Strowman and Biggie main event next show. And then by the time the pay-per-view after that comes, Alexa Bliss and, and Tony Storm will be ready to take that main event spot. NXT TakeOver Unstoppables the next TakeOver, but let's look at our emails first here. We have a client offer you made for Becky Lynn. She's too valuable us for let, let go right now. Wait a second. Holy crap. I am offering, I offered Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks. I offered them both 800 coins, whatever the hell it's called, $800. And they rejected my offer. For every single main eventer that was poached from me, I think I've had... Like I've had like probably six, seven super, six, probably six superstars uh, poached for me at this point, but like four or five of them were main eventers. Every time those offers come in, they're like three or $400, four, maybe $500 at most. So why are you guys rejecting my $800 offer, but these guys, but my people on my show are accepting $500 offers and $400 offers because they were made of enters. They were like a hundred, everything, everything was full. That's annoying. Okay. So maybe next time a superstar tries to leave my show, 
If I do really want to keep him, if it's not some Joe Schmo that I couldn't care less about, if it's someone I do want to keep, I will decline their offer and see what happens and see if they get super mad at me or whatever, or if I, I'm able to make it work. Anyway, I was unsuccessful in recruiting Billy Kay. Oh, you stupid idiot. Why do I have you hired? Good show. That was a pretty good show. Uh, top to bottom, but I think you can do better, Harold. Oh, shut up, Harold. Uh, Dante Martin made himself available. Don't care. Darius Martin made himself available. Don't care. And Alexa Bliss is ready to return to the ring. Her overness should get a nice boost at 6%. Okay. That's a positive. Uh, everything else here was basically negative. <laughs> Other than that, no more jokes. Luchasaurus versus Scorpio Sky. Why is this here? Two more people I've never booked. It's just like Ivar versus Apollo Crews. Okay, forget it. There is something else I want to do before we skedaddle. Why was he unsuccessful? Top flight. Okay, but let me try doing P Billy Kay again. I get. I think the reason it was unsuccessful is because I did it at the end of the month. Willie Mack, no thanks. I'll take Billy Kay, recruiter. But other than that, I think we are good, guys. And we can book our couple episodes of NXT now. So stay tuned for that next episode coming very soon. As I mentioned, guys, make sure to hop over to my Twitter page. Follow me on Twitter. There should be a poll up there right now uh, asking about WWE 2K20 Universe Mode, what you guys want to see out of it and stuff like that. So I will let you guys hop over there. But in the meantime, thank you so much for stopping by, guys. Hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. It does help me out a lot. Also, right underneath me here, though, guys, there is a subscribe button. If you guys want to click that to get notified whenever I release videos so you do not miss one. And then over on the right, we've got some more videos if you guys want to keep watching. Thanks so much, guys.